Illinois' top office for economic development is taking a temperature check of our business climate statewide following the COVID-19 pandemic. It's Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. In tonight's top story, Lizzie Siles compared the state findings to what local black business owners are seeing in their own companies. The survey of black businesses across Illinois is the first of its kind, assessing both what minority businesses look like and what specific challenges they face. It shows black owned businesses across the state are often extremely small operations. The boss is typically the only employee and a third of all the businesses surveyed makes less than 10,000 in revenue a year. I'm literally 80 hours a week now, um, barely having time for family. I have a, a, a large family now. I actually had to close the store today just to come to this seminar. Cameron Polanski owns the newly renamed and relocated Urban Clothing and Shoes in the West Main neighborhood. He has three workers manning the store. He's also the breadwinner of his family, just like the majority of black business owners surveyed. Of the small amount of businesses that are able to hire on more staff, research shows that a vast majority of them turn back to the community to make those hires. Only about a third of black owned businesses are able to take on staff and of that third, 85% hire on black employees. AFE Construction is one of those larger companies. They work in construction and construction management across central Illinois, bringing in about 4 million in business a year. They have a small, consistent staff of six employees and hire out from unions for their work projects. Um, most black people want to work for black companies um, to support each other. And, it, and I think it's just more of a community thing. The state argues growing black businesses could create a ripple effect that leads to more jobs for minorities. Us as a people, we have to, you know, start somewhere. Like, we can't just expect these, these type of... Uh, resources to come to us, so we have to make a start somewhere. In Peoria, Lizzie Siles, 25 News.